good morning i am not long up but i have gotten dressed gotten makeup on and now i need to do something with my hair so it looks less like an 80s power ballad <laughs> the plan for today is to get the washing on and then head on over to sterling to collect my pieces from made in sterling where i had some pieces in as part of their summer exhibition i've had a rotten headache and migraine this week that's just not left um i don't know feel a bit stuffy as well so hopefully today is a better day hopefully i will have some nice waves good morning puppies good morning good morning toby yes going to pop the kettle on and empty the dishwasher and reload the dishwasher also, my gran got me these um, gravel tiles for the fridge and they're just so much fun. I love them. I think the dogs are hungry. Can you hear them yawning? Inadvertently, we have taught them the word hungry and the phrase, are you hungry? I've been trying to think of a way to get my signature or something onto my pieces. Um, and I thought that I could do it with, um, there's this thing called acid edge. It um, eats away the top layer of glass and I got um, these like vinyl decals that I could put my maker's mark on but I don't think they're going to work for anything that's not a flat piece because when it's flat it's obviously it's, it can be fully attached whereas on a curve I think it's probably going to have some bits of the vinyl that will rise up or might ping up when the acid etch is applied and I need to leave the acid etch on for multiple hours if not days I think. So the other idea that I had was to maybe engrave the glass with a very discreet small signature and to do that I've been looking up different diamond tips uh, for a Dremel because I do have a Dremel. So I'm gonna have a look in the studio once I've done the dishwasher and things to see if I do have a bit that might work and then we can test out how that works on a flat piece of glass and then on a scrap piece of glass <laughs> then try it on like maybe a wine bottle or something so that I can test out a curve before trying it on any of my actual pieces that have had so many days of work and everything gone into them. little bit of a snag um my memory card was it was too full so I don't know if it's just me but every time that I delete anything on my memory card on my macbook it then has all these partitions that need reformatted and I don't know if it is normal that it does that or if it's just me um but it's quite annoying and so I've decided I'm just going to film on my phone and sorry for the shakiness and the poor quality and everything compared to the camera but this is just kind of how it is today. Fingers crossed I'll get my camera back before the end of today. I'm going to go 
collect my other work and then unpack it all uh, after I get back. What I have been meaning to do is get another um, IKEA unit like this one so that I can put all my glasswork. You can see um, there's like a couple of pieces in there um, and more down there. Um, so I was thinking if I get another unit like that, then I can put it over here in this little corner and get rid of this thing that is never, doesn't matter how many times I clear it, it is always just a mess. So I'm just fed up with it. So I want rid of it and a new thing with doors that I can put the, shut the doors and everything will be protected from the dust and whatnot. So that's the plan. Hopefully the reformatting of that SD card will work, fingers crossed. Okie doke, just arrived in Stirling and so now I'm gonna walk up and hopefully record some clips, uh, depending how brave I'm feeling of the of Stirling and a wee bit of what it looks like. Um, also gonna be carrying those two boxes, so we'll see how much I manage to get. Um, if not, I will see you in Maiden Stirling. This isn't really something that I've talked that much about but in the last year or since January, I've only sold two pieces of work and it's not something that I've really talked about yet on here. It feels quite vulnerable, to, but it's why I started a YouTube channel was to try and get monetized so that I can make a living doing something creative, doing things that I love. At the minute, that's just not the reality. And look at this, isn't it amazing? I love it in here. It's a dream to be in there. I will talk about that more in another vlog. If you want to hear more about that, then let me know. Please be kind in the comments because it's something that I feel quite uncomfortable with still talking about. Earlier this year, got a brand new flat lap that came over from America and it's making the fuse box for the house make a funny noise when it's plugged in. So I haven't been able to do the cold working that I was going to do this afternoon because we need to get an electrician to hopefully fix it. But I've got to walk these dogs and then play Dungeons and Dragons and that would be good. So let's go for a walk. Do you want to go for walkies? microwaves on for a quick dinner of soup again I tend to do that when things feel too much I tend to eat the same things over and over again it is what it is it's gonna be yummy and then it'll be quick dinner like I said and then we're gonna be playing D&D &D tonight uh, we were we normally play on Tuesdays but we moved to Thursday this week so yeah it'll be busy busy and that'll be us until it's time for an unwind and bed. Also, look at the feather. I think it looks really nice there with my, I carved that wooden spoon um, on a spoon carving workshop. For Mr. G and I's anniversary back in March, we went spoon carving. Yeah, anyway, I need to go and get everything ready, get eaten, get eaten, mm, okay. And get on to playing D&D. Just realised while I'm editing this video that I didn't sign off or anything at all. Um, so I will sign off here. Thank you so much for watching if you've watched all this way. Sorry that the video has kind of been a bit everywhere. It was a really stressful day and that was a week and a bit ago now. So thankfully I 
I'm past all the stress now. I'm so looking forward to showing you the next video because that is going to be a week in the life of what was the busiest, craziest week in my entire glassmaking career. Doing Edinburgh Art Fair, oh sorry, the sun, <laughs> doing Edinburgh Art Fair and the joint um, exhibition between the Scottish Glass Society and the Contemporary Glass Society. It was a really full on week and it was so exciting and so much fun. I am so tired from it now, but that is going to be next week's video. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like. Uh, if you've got any questions glass related or art related or Scotland related, let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to answer if I can help and I will see you on the next video.